Hey guys, I wanted to uh, do a quick staff training today and uh, tell you a little bit about one of the wines that we've added recently to the by the glass and by the bottle list. This is the Dr. L. Riesling. See if I can get it right on the screen there. 2019 vintage. So what are the key points about Dr. L. Riesling? Well, first of all, it's Riesling. That's the grape variety that we're using here. Um, this grows and is produced in Germany, uh, more specifically in the Mosul region of Germany. So the Mosul is a river um, that uh, snakes literally back and forth its way through um, really Western Germany and is one of the premier growing regions in Germany. One of the key things that Riesling from the Mosul area often will produce is a lot of flavor and aromatics. Uh, and with Riesling, those aromatics are often going to be things like apple, pear, uh, lemon, sometimes a little bit of tropical, kind of uh, uh, sometimes pineapple. Um, but the other characteristic that Riesling often uh, is, is known for is high acid. Um, so there's a great balance of acidity here. And, and so sometimes when people see a large or tall bottle like this, um, sit back a little bit, you can see it. Um, they kind of automatically think the wine's going to be sweet, which is sort of true. Although Germany makes the vast majority of the wines that they make is, is actually dry. Um, there is sugar here, but because there's a high level of acidity, the acidity and the sugar kind of balance each other out. And so Rieslings have a, an affinity for working with foods that have a little bit of spice to them because there is a natural sweetness in some of them, certainly in the Dr. L. And that can work when, you know, very well when you have a dish that might have a little bit of spice or heat to it. So these work really well with Asian dishes, um, sometimes uh, Southwest or Mexican or South American type dishes that might have a little bit of spice or heat to them as well. So anything that has that little bit of, of kick balanced by some sweetness in the wine is great. So real quick smelling, I put my nose in there. I get that sort of classic apple, round melon, uh, a little bit of white peach, and also a nice little kind of... Um, uh, what I call whetstone kind of quality in the wine. It's uh, it's an aspect that you'll find in a lot of white wines. Sometimes referred to as minerality, but I like that wet whetstone kind of descriptor is, is for me is nicer. So tasting it real quick. You know, on the palate, I get a little bit of lushness and that would be that kind of sweetness, but then my mouth explodes with saliva. It makes it almost hard to talk um, because there's so much acidity here. So you really have that nice kind of balance between the sweetness and the acid here. Um, I've actually been to Dr. Lozen's estate a couple times in the Mosul and Ernie Lozen, who's the owner, he describes that as the tension or the play between the the acid and the sugar. And he's, you know, his job as a winemaker is to create that perfect tension point um, that that is enjoyable, um, but, but make sure that there's still balance. There's not too much sweetness or too much acidity. He wants to kind of find that, that even spot where they work well together. The finish is not too, too long, but there's a nice, pleasant finish. So refreshing wine, easy to drink, um, good acidity. So it keeps your palate cleansed. Um, this is going to work well on um, menu pairings with lighter seafood dishes, appetizers, as I said before, anything that might have a little bit of heat to it. Um, Riesling also works really well with duck. Uh, and, and so if you have some dishes that have some sort of full poultry kind of dishes, and it also works well with, with pork, anything that's got a little bit of fat in it, that acid helps, helps to cut through. So Dr. L Riesling 2019, offered, um, you know, by the bottle, by the glass, and just an enjoyable, really refreshing, classic German Riesling from the Mosul in, uh, in Western Germany. Okay, cheers. Happy selling.